I'm Jay Smith, Jeff Lafferett. We are the horrid halves of Deborah and Carolyn, and I'm saying that just because Harold's going to be mad about it. Uh, right? Yeah. Uh, we are here for the announcement segment, and we have a lot of great places in the community to connect with on our journey towards Thanksgiving, and none of them were available this week. So you get Jeff and I again. Uh, the announcements this week, next week is our next week is orange shirt day. So if everybody can wear their orange shirt and please send pictures into Deborah and Carolyn of their orange shirts. The week after is Junia Joplin who will be doing the sermon for the, the uh, service. And then we have after that a special Thanksgiving offering. And this year it's going towards an outreach project which is technology at the church and the ability to live stream. So anybody who can afford it, anybody who would like to, please give a little extra at Thanksgiving so that we can reach out to the community, reach out to the interwebs and bring St. Paul's out into everybody's lives that wishes it. Uh, and after that, I think this week we were going to talk about another St. Paul's part that is going to or does reach out into the community and that would be Sign Guy. Sign Guy, uh, not the worst thing I've been called. Uh, and uh, it, it's been a pleasure to be identified as sign guy. So for those of you who don't know, the sign in front of the church um, usually has a lot of sayings on it, and I've been designated as sign guy, but I'll be honest with you. I'm the guy who puts the letters up. A sign guy is a community of people. I have people send me messages or say, hey, why don't you put this up? And, and so it's been really great to kind of represent the church and uh, see if the sign gets noticed. And... Has anything come from the sign guy and out into the community? Has anybody noticed? So, yeah, you know, there's a few things we can mention. So, like, right from uh, actually putting the letters on the sign, I had someone come up to me and say, sign guy. And I didn't, you know, wasn't sure what was going to happen. And they asked me for a selfie. So it's probably the best selfie they ever had, to be honest. Sign guy. If, if you're being selfish. Ooh, oh. well, well done. Yeah, well done. Um... On a little bit more serious note, Deborah and Carolyn received a message uh, from a gentleman in the community. He saw the sign where we uh, said that we may love imperfectly, but we love nonetheless. And underneath it said, Pride and Black Lives Matter. And a, a member of the community reached out to the church and said, I'm not a member, I'm not a person who attends there, but I think it's amazing that your church is so inclusive that you would consider having Pride and Black Lives Matter on your sign. Thank you for doing the work. And that's when we kind of, you know, yeah, we get the funny stuff up there, but it's, it's pretty good. And then just recently, you know, you think of the community as Oakville, but we kind of nailed the digital community. I'm not sure if you remember, Jay, the uh, Junia Joplin sign where we yep, said that absolutely. she can preach here anytime. We had over a thousand hits on that on, on Facebook and numerous shares and so on and people from all over Canada posting it. Um, so there is an ability for us to do outreach and share the message of the church, of the community, of our faith. And I think it's getting out there. I would agree. So like we said, Thanksgiving, the special offering is going to technology for live streaming. And even though Jeff and I will still be on it, please don't let that stop you from giving. If anything, do it in our honor. We think we've earned at least three bucks. Yeah, maybe. A toonie and a loony, and I won't yeah. say which one is loony. All right, Jay, what do you think? Good? See you next week. See you next week, folks.